Okay, so I quickly want to talk about open source versus open weights because Meta just released Llama 4 and I see people saying it's not open source, it's open weights, but the truth is they're kind of the same. So open, well, not the same, but open weights is a subset of open source. So open weights are a form of open source where you have the weights, you have the model architecture, but you don't specifically have the training data or the training pipeline. But there's a misconception that open weights is just the model weights, which is like just numbers that are not interpretable to humans. But that's not true because to run a model, you need the model architecture. So this is the code for like the layers of the model. And if you watch my videos about neural networks, you'll understand what I mean by that. I actually have a series, 10 Days of AI Basics, about model architecture. But it's basically like how the model is composed, the layers, etc. So actually innovations in model architecture help drive innovations across the board and in, in open source for all people. And so like depending on how the layers are configured and how the even the like the math works, there have been innovations in the math. So yeah, like open weights is not just like numbers. You know, there's more to it. They're open and sourcing open sourcing the architecture is actually a big deal. So so yeah. So congrats to Meta. I love all the work they're doing. It's pretty amazing. And also like I'm not surprised they don't release the data. A lot of people don't release the data. It's not just Meta. A lot of companies training their models. I think DeepSeek also as well didn't release the data. It's pretty standard to not release the data. So anyway, congrats Meta. And I just love how open source is advancing. So have a good one, guys.